Hi, I'm Jolly, a WCTC nursing student, and my studies are mainly in the H building. In nursing, we complete a rigorous curriculum infused with hands-on experience, all taught by faculty who have recent work experience and encourage us to succeed, along with studying anatomy and physiology, microbiology, and complex health alterations, we practice hands-on techniques in the Nursing Skills Lab. We refine our skills in taking vitals, giving medications, and operating patient equipment. The Nursing Skills Lab has been really helpful to practice inserting IVs and developing clinical techniques before working on real people. In the Human Patient Simulator Lab, we work on interactive, realistic patient simulators that are programmed with specific health issues. It's then up to us to record the patient vitals, assess the situation, and proceed with the correct nursing interventions. Between the HPS Lab and the Nursing Skills Lab, we get a good foundation of nursing skills before we start our clinicals. The nursing assistants are an essential part of healthcare as they handle many of the basic tasks in caring for patients. In the 120-hour course, they learn to take vitals, provide assistance with daily hygiene, use the correct techniques for moving and repositioning patients, help with safety and comfort, and aid in emergency care. While my study group found each other after the first round of nursing tests, we didn't quite get the scores we wanted and we were all sort of panicking about it. So we found each other, we meet once a week, we go over questions, we make fun of each other, we argue, um, we all try to be right. <laughs> but in the end, uh, we're succeeding and we hope to all graduate together soon. I'm Dan, a WCTC Surgical Technology student. Our classes are also in the H Building, along with Central Service, Medical Assistants, Health Information Technology, Health Unit Coordinators, and Phlebotomy students. As part of the surgical team, Surge Tech students learn to prepare an operating room for surgery, help with patient care, secure supplies, set up equipment and instruments, and handle instruments during surgery. The lab closely replicates a hospital operating room and features all of the equipment found in a typical operating room suite. It's then up to the central service technician student to maintain the quality of the surgical and other hospital equipment used. They clean, sterilize, and package everything from general to specialty surgical instruments using hospital-grade washers and sterilizers. Phlebotomy students are taught the correct way to draw blood and collect other specimen samples for lab analysis. They also learn to recognize any conditions that might affect lab tests, so a lot of care is given to perfect procedures. Patients having their blood drawn depend on and expect a technician that will make them comfortable. The hands-on learning part of my education was absolutely phenomenal. Getting into the sterile field, getting to work with real surgeons, nurses, other surge techs to learn what I need to know for the future certainly will help me in my career going forward. Hi, I'm Christy, a medical assistant student here at WCTC. In the medical assistant lab, we learn how to care for clinical patients while keeping a physician's office running smoothly, like taking health histories, vital signs, running lab tests, doing electrocardiograms and administering medications. We learn all of the skill sets needed for patient care in an office setting. In the Health Information Technology program, the students collect, analyze, and report healthcare data. While the majority of their coursework is done on computers in the B building, their work is at the core of well-documented patient health information. A health unit coordinator is typically the first person encountered on a nursing unit. The overall job is non-clinical in nature, and everyone who works on or visits the nursing unit depends on the coordinator for information and assistance. Students learn to monitor electronic medical records for patient treatment, prepare patient charts, deal with visitors, and maintain statistical reports. I am really glad I decided to get my medical assistant degree at WCTC because they have such an outstanding reputation in the community. And once I got out into externship, I was told that if they had to choose between a WCTC student or a student from another college, they would choose a WCTC student hands down.